up everybody I was trying to find the best lighting I decided to use my camera because the camera on my computer has been showing up real bad and I do apologize about that so I do have a good quality camera that um, records in HD but anyway um, thank you to all the new subscribers those that's been checking out the channel I appreciate you I've been looking at your channels and I'm just you all are so, it's some creative people out here oh my god creative um those that can captivate you with words things like that but anyway um i'm miss straight at gym and you're watching gym spot tv i want to talk to you all real quick i'm um, not going to be long well i'm trying not to be long i had a dream um last night it was it was so profound it was like just a small bit of my dream, but I absolutely understand why certain things in my life I just didn't succeed like I could have, or it could have been better or whatever, okay? So, uh, let me go into the dream. I was sitting in the, and I'm going to the meeting, meaning um, one of the gifts I got from the Lord Jesus, yes, I said it. Um, it's the interpretation of dreams. Myself and my husband, we both do, you know. And so God immediately gave me um, what it meant, which was good, okay. And so anyway, I was sitting in the park, and um, this tall lady come up to me, and she asked me if I wanted to play basketball. Now, everybody that know me know, I might shoot one or two baskets, but I ain't really you know that good at it but i'm gonna talk some smack and make you think i'm the best thing that ever hit the court since since sliced bread that's all i gotta say y'all know who you are okay and so anyway i was um i was in the dream and um um i'm on my way to well we start playing outside but I noticed we went from being outside to indoors. And so as I'm in the dream, I'm noticing all the players are very tall. They look like they know what they're doing. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, my little five, four, and, and a half self ain't, ain't scared by no means. Okay? So I come at them, baby. I come at them hard. You understand me? And so I'm noticing that we're running from a full court basketball court, but we're not shooting at the baskets that's on the side, which I think is very weird because I'm like, if we're going to be full court playing, why not shoot at the baskets on the side? So this is the first thing I see that's wrong in the dream. And then I notice nobody's making a basket on this uh, basket that's in front of us. Because we're running a full court, but the basket is here, everybody's shooting at. And not only is the basket here that everybody is shooting at, it's a fence there. So, the other two baskets don't have a fence. No hurdles. No no hurdles. No nothing. While we, we run in a full court. Hear my dream. We run in a full court, but yet, nobody is common sense, except myself, seeing that we're shooting at the wrong basket. If this one got a hurdle, why are we shooting at this one? Okay, so, not just the problem in the dream. So, these tall people, they just running back and forth, running back and forth, running back and forth. But they study going for the basket in front of them. So, finally, I stand back and I watch them run back and forth and trying to shoot the ball. And I'm noticing after the first three shots, nobody is shooting this ball into the basket. And so... It dawned on me, they're using the wrong equipment. They got this big ball, they call it a dodgeball, but it's really a volleyball. Y'all don't get me today. And the thing is not bouncing. Okay, so the ball's not bouncing. And I'm like, okay, so why is they still playing? Then I see this Oompa Loompa that's been playing the whole time with us. It's just common sense in my mind say, he must have been playing the whole time with us, making them think they playing with a basketball. Y'all better catch my dream. And so the little boy, the little man, he bouncing the basketball. 
And he just in their face bouncing it. They jumping over the fence, study, trying to shoot the ball. It's never going in. So finally, I sit on the sideline and I sit like, it's like I'm at this door opening. Oh my God. I'm at this door opening and I'm sitting on the floor. And I got my hand like this, just watching this whole game. And in a minute, I'm like, I want to go through this door, but some telling me I don't have the equipment to get in because it's an equipment room. Oh, my God. And so the coach come up to me, and she asks me, she say, is there something I can help you with? You want to get in this game? I said, well, yeah, I do, but they got the wrong equipment. And the coach asked me, well, what do you want to do about it? I said, well, and instantly... The voice sounded like the Lord. And I'm not saying God is a woman because God is not a woman. But sometimes when you hear God's voice, it'll sound like your grandmother or mother. It will sound like wisdom. You know what I'm saying? And the Bible says in Proverbs 1, this is not me preaching. This is just me telling what it is. You know, that uh, wisdom was a her. And she cried out in the streets and the foolish didn't listen. Okay. And so instantly I realized what I was talking to. I was talking to the Lord. I wasn't talking to the woman. I was talking to the Lord. You understand what I'm saying to you? And so ask me what did I need to do to get into this equipment room, to this door opening that I was in. And I said, um, well, I want that ball, the basketball from the midget over there. And so the coach said to me, well, all you got to do is ask for it and I'll get it for you. I said, well, I just want to go over there and get it. And so the coach said, well, go over there and get it. And I woke up and I realized something. I've been doing this my whole life. Any business I start or whatever. The best business I ever did was when... I actually, I, uh, I sold it. I didn't try to keep getting it. You know, you got people that say, go get a go get her. The Bible don't say, that's why God say, ask me a hard thing. Okay? You say, ask me a hard thing. You know, and so I'm the kind of person that try to go get it. I never sit back, think about it, and ask God. And what the coach represented was the Lord. God's been coaching me the whole time, but all the coach got to do is blow a whistle and get all my stuff back. But yet, I want to go get it on my own. And I mess up every time because I answer that question wrong. And I'm here to tell you in 2013, allow the coach to blow the whistle and get your stuff. Ask the coach. Don't try to go get it yourself. Because what you'll find yourself doing in 2013 is you'll be going in cycles. You'll be going in cycles. Now, in the Jewish and the Hebraic calendar, the end of the year was like in October when, you know, the fall and the festivals and all of that. So the actual beginning of the year is actually uh, not October. I mean, not uh, January. The beginning of the year is when winter and the, and the seeds are being, you know, going through a, 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 a I was just th reading the book about it. But anyway, long story short, um, a lot of people think it's in springtime because that's when things are growing and blossoming and because they looked at a zodiac calendar and the zodiacs uh, start with in springtime but how many of us know seeds are growing all the time they're just going through a, a photosynthesis type of um well anyway moving on from that not going into that because it'll be a whole lot of arguments with that i'm saying all this to say do not start your year off with trying to get it yourself. Because you can't get it yourself. You'll be sitting, waiting at the door. You got the door opportunity, but you don't have the right equipment to get in there. And so, all this time, I realized that all I had to do was say one word. Lord, can you get me the right ball? Can you get me the right equipment? And I've been all the time, the people also represented something. 
They all were professional basketball players, but nobody had the right equipment. So you can be all you can be. You can be professional. You can have the right degrees. You can be, um, you can have the money, but you can be at the wrong place or the right place, but have the wrong equipment. And I've been there so many times in my life where I've been, I've had been at the right place, but had the wrong equipment. And I'm determined in 2013, because springtime is always the time where things flourish for me. Um, January is the time where seeds are being, I plant my seeds. I plant my first fruits. I plant my seeds so I can get my harvest in springtime. Y'all don't hear me. And so what I'm saying to you is this. Ask the coach. Don't try to go get it yourself. Ask the coach. All the coach got to do is blow a whistle. Step into time now and handle your handle it for you. But that dream just it, it it changed the way I see business and the way I see everything. So diamonds, you are the toughest material on earth, ladies, and there's none like you, gents. You're no longer boys when you watch this channel. Thank you so much for listening. Again, in 2013, ask the coach, let him blow the whistle and see how things transpire for you.